All right, today we're working on this hateful, 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 hateful Samsung Active Jet. This one is the model, I'm not sure if that's focusing or not, uh, WA50R5200 AW slash US. Uh, I think we've only had this washer for about two years or so, and once it gets to spinning in the spin cycle, it'll start wobbling real hard and throw a code. It'll say UR or UL somewhere up in there. It'll quit spinning, fill up with water, drain the water, spin again, wobble some more, and do the same thing probably about three or four times. Um, before it finally shuts off. We're gonna fix that today. We're going with stiffer springs. I'm gonna show you how we get in there and I'm gonna show you the stiffer springs part of it. First thing we're gonna do, these little bitty, they're, they're rubber. Um, they come up, inside of there is a Phillips head screw. So let's go ahead and get these two out of here and those two screws out of there. So as you can see, I have already disconnected the hot and walk cold hookup. I've unplugged it. Uh, we have two screws back here. There's one there and one there. Uh, once we get those out, we're gonna try to very carefully take the where the control panel is off. All right, so now the two screws are out of the back. I'm gonna slowly and carefully sort of pick up and sort of fandangle this uh, top controller off. There's two more screws in here, or sort of underneath it. Um, let me uh, sort of work this out of here. Uh, let me set the camera down and uh, hopefully do my best to show you how it goes. All right, so keep in mind I'm in a laundry room, so you know, I don't have the most room. I'm gonna do very carefully to sort of lift this up. If you ever hear anything sort of snagging, breaking, popping, go ahead and stop and you know reconsider your actions because you're liable to break something. Okay, nothing, nothing so far. We're still okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. Ooh, nothing broke. I think we're good. Oh, I got one more. There it goes, all right. Okay, now let's see what we got. All right, so while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at everything we got before we go any further. Take a look at all of your connections, make sure everything sort of looks good. There's one up there. I'm not sure if it's picking up. There's one there. Everything's still connected. Everything looks good. There's two screws that we're gonna worry about. One is right here, right? Behind this green wire that we also have to take off. So there's two screws holding the, the top mount, uh, but we got um, three screws with uh, ground wires, I guess is what they're doing. I'm not sure. Um, so there's one of them and there's a screw there. And then directly in front of these two wires, which we're also gonna have to remove, uh, go ahead and take a picture of what goes where. Make sure you know yellow goes towards the left if you're at the back of the machine or you know towards the center. Green goes away or to the right. Uh, and there's a second screw we're gonna get right there. So. Let's time lapse this. Also, you can see I did remove the hot and the cold hookups um, simply so that I did not um, catch anything. I have more room here. I'm not, you know, worried about um, catching anything. So let's go ahead and get these, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five screws out. Um, I'm going to time lapse that real quick. Okay, same advice as before. Um, lift up, we're lift up slowly and carefully. We're gonna sort of make sure nothing gets pinched or tucked or pulled or anything like that. I'm just sort of setting this down here. Um, let's lift up sort of around the, the uh, top of it. Make sure it feels um, sort of loose, which it does. Again, we're in a laundry room, so there's clothes and things in here. Um, Everything feels loose, so now I'm gonna 
We'll set the camera down. We're going to lift this up in one as one unit. Right, let's see if we can do this uh, carefully and without breaking things. So, this is what we're going to lift up. Sort of run. I, I like to run my fingers along things, make sure nothing catches, snags. I do feel like I've got something sort of hanging up in this back corner. So let me see. Woo! No, nothing's hanging up. Okay. All right. Got some water leaking out of there, though. Mm, there's something that we're hanging up. So let's figure out what's hanging up. All right, so it appears we have two hang-ups here. We got this, that's green, everything's green for some reason. Uh, we got this big one here, and then we got this little one right here. Okay, so rather than going top down, and also to get a better view of what I'm doing, to the back off, there's only four screws. One, two, three, four. Oh, thank you, baby. Just leave them there, okay? Uh, once I was here, there was a screw right there. When I unscrewed this, it let this line go. So there is a clip right here that we're going to have to clip back on. So this clip was on the green line. Okay, baby, hold on. And then these two lines were plugged into here. Of course, I'm going to show all this, you know, putting it back together. Um, we should be able to lift enough to get things done and I have my little helper with me so let's lift this up now okay so let me sort of tilt this back down and then we're gonna thank you baby okay thank you baby all right now let's lift up I'm probably doing this as most people would be doing it themselves with children around oh I'm sorry you okay Okay. All right. Let's shut this so we can get this up. Okay. Daddy, yes, baby. Shut the door. I did shut the door. Okay. All right. Okay, let's keep the door shut. Now. Bye, I got it, baby. We gotta tilt it. There we go. Look at that, baby. We did it. Okay, so my little helper here is uh working on what we need to work on. So just sort of tilted everything over. Nothing's pulling. Nothing's tugging. We have four of these guys. Um, they're purple, but we're changing them out with green ones. I'll show you as soon as we get one out. These are really easy. Okay. Three of these are really easy. One of these is not going to be fun. Okay. Here, here. Um, if you can see the rod all the way down there in the bottom, uh, we're just going to sort of lift up. Looks like a couple socks are down there. Uh, we're going to lift up on the rod here, and it's going to lift up the drum itself, and we're going to remove it. Uh, it'll be easier to show you in the back actually how it works, um, but we're going to go ahead and pull one out now. All right. Yes. Yes, your birthday's coming up. All right, so you lift up on the one here. I'll go pick it up. Pick it up, pull it out. Very easy. And it's out. Let's take a look at these side by side while we got the, probably the easiest one out. All right, so here's our new rod. There's our old rod, the purple. The new rod is the green. Um, they look the exact same length until you get down here. Okay, baby. And this spring here is not the most difficult to compress. This one is not compressing. You got to put some force on that one. So longer spring with a lot that's a lot stiffer. So hopefully these green will work a lot better than those old purple ones. All right, so my help. Uh, went back upstairs to hang out with her sisters. So we are going to do this. I'm going to time lapse these front two because they are very easy, very similar to the back um, left, right side, whatever side it is. Um, the back sides are different. One of them is exactly like the front, one of them is different. Um, but we're going to go ahead and time lapse the front two and I'll show you the back one, hopefully, sort of live action. And then uh, we'll pick it back up again. But these are going to be time lapse. All right, so now that we're at the back of the machine, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to show you exactly what it is that you're doing uh, when you lift up and take these out. So this is the side that is exactly like the front. 
So you lift up on here and it comes out. Comes out right here, exactly like the front. So we're gonna lift up, it's gonna slide out, and I'm gonna pull out the top. I'm gonna leave the camera down here so you can see it sort of um, in in real time when I put the, when I take the purple one out and put the green one in. Then we're gonna have to worry about this side. This side's different because it's got the um, water line and this green line wrapped around it. So we'll do that one together as well. We'll do both of these live. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up on my drum here. And you're gonna see it sort of flop out the bottom. Oh, let me move my hand so you can actually see what I'm doing. Lift up on my drum and it's gonna come out the bottom. As I beat up everything, there's my old spring. That is now out, or suspension rod, excuse me, let me call it the correct name, it's a suspension rod. I'm upgrading the springs, there's nothing wrong with the suspension rods. It's the springs that I'm upgrading, so I put it in there, it slides in. I just pick up, and set it down. Now let's do the difficult side together. Okay, so as I have already said, there's a clip. This clip holds both this green line and this water line. We're going to hook it back up together anyways. We're going to go ahead and... Disconnect it since I'm at the back of the machine anyways. Uh, I might actually be able to do this one handed. Um, here's our spring. As you can see how it goes in. It just sort of slides in. We can lift up one handed. And I can't lift up one handed. Uh, I'm going to set it down, set the camera down. Still keep it live though. Um, so you can see how it goes. Ooh, I don't... Uh, and let me get the tiniest little bit of a trap. All right, as you can see, here's our spring. We'll lift up on the bottom and sort of take it out. Watch it doesn't want to go. Now let me take it out from the top first. Maybe it'll come out the bottom easier that way. There we go. Okay, so the top is out. We'll slide it out of the bottom. Sort of wonky because of all these water lines here. There we go. I'm simply, here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come out the back, sort of untwist my way around these water lines here. And I'm not showing you people at all. Um, it's gonna be a two-handed job. I'm coming out the back this way though. And I'm gonna have to have both hands, as you can see. I've wrapped. I'm wrapped around the water line. Be sure you get back in the same way. All right, as you can see, the green is in. There's our line there. We're gonna go ahead and set it like so. I'm gonna have to do the top. It's gonna to take both hands to do the top. I already know. Um, let me get this in, and then we'll pick it back all up. Right, so I haven't touched the thing. We're gonna do all of this live um, because I completely neglected the back um, whenever I was taking it apart. I uh, didn't have room, had a helper, whatever it may be. Anyways, it's really not that hard, but we're going to do it together. Let me get the top back how it goes. I'm not going to bolt it in. Just sort of set it how it goes because it's going to make things a lot easier. So let me do that. All right, so we're going to start out with the easy side first because, you know, it's the easy side. I'm going to take these two clips, clip them back into here. Um... I hope that they're actually picking up on camera. I'm a little bit worried they're not uh, because of the lighting in here. But uh, there are two clips um, right here. Um, two connections, I mean. Um, right here, we'll go ahead and connect these two back in. Uh, super easy. I undid these off camera. Um, that was, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and put that together. Come on. Back together. Da -da. All right, now we need to worry about the difficult side with the water lines. So we're going to do this together as well. I hope this is actually picking up. I really hope it does. All right, so we have our clip that we need to worry about. 
Okay, so I hope this is uh, sort of picking up for you. Just for reference, let me show you where we're at. Um, we're on the green wire side of the back of the washer. Um, let's go ahead and get everything hooked back up. The water line is wrapped around the suspension rod again as it should be, but we have this clip here that we need to connect everything back to. So I'm going to connect it to the rod. First, let me figure out where my thing is here. There's that. Okay. So we need to connect it to the rod. And it looks like it was about right there. According to our markings on our other stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and connect our water line and our, our green line. And then our water line. And then clip it. Okay. Let's show how that looks. Okay, it's just a simple clip. You just sort of undo it with your thumb here. Um, you can do it with a screwdriver if you want to. And that's that line there. Looks okay. Whew. All right. Now, I believe we're... All right, so... And this guy lines up. There's a screw right here. We're going to go ahead and put it in. This screw... You can't see it connects it's a sort of a clip like this and it sort of connects everything it's right here just outside of you um, and to get it off you smash these two with pliers and there's a screw right there so we're gonna go ahead and put that on okay so now we got our screw going back in going back in here going back in here that's getting tight. I'm going to put our panel back on. Let me get my phone under there before I put the panel back on. All right, as I said before, there's only four screws in the back of this panel. And it just sort of slides in and out and on and off. Um, there's no way you can mess this up. I mean, it's got like almost puzzle pieces that sort of show you where this goes and comes from and connects and things like that. Uh, there's four screws. One, two, three, four. Hope that picks up on the camera. We are going to go ahead and put them in. I will say the best thing that has helped me the most in this entire process is the fact that my screwdriver is magnetic. Um, that is a tremendous help. Um, with stuff like this if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver i highly suggest getting one well, you don't want to go in there we go um it'll help you bunches all right once this back panel is on we'll be ready to open this up and connect those screws all right we're going to go ahead and get the screws placed where they go and then we're going to put them all together. Uh, so put my one in here. Get another one. You can't get these wrong because these are big. Put it right there. And these are tiny. Weedle beady. All right. Remember, yellow is on the inside. Um, I'm not 100% sure I can do this one-handed. Um, yellow is on the inside. Let me do that on time lapse. Green is on the outside. Let's get these. Three. All right, so. Got all our screws back in. They look good. We've put them in our little slots there. Let's see if I can do this one handed. My helper has showed back up. I'm a little bit concerned I cannot do this one handed. There's that. Whoa! Oh, Come back in. 
That went back in so easy, didn't it? Orange and blue. Actually, it was not easy to get out, but really easy to get back in there. Um, Up and down, that's right. Let's put our two screws in here in the back. So one there. And if I can grab it. I dropped them all. One there. Let me put this. Alright, the very last thing we gotta do now is put these two screws in here. Along with our little rubber pieces. That side's in. All the way. That side's in. All the way. Let's give this a try and see if we can fix this wobbly washer now. Seems to be doing much, much, much better. It's not banging around no more. Job well done. You're gonna have this sticky stuff all over you for days. Got it done.